All right, first off, I want to apologize. I want to apologize, and you guys are gonna to have to trust me just a little, little bit. I got a bunch of these dehydrated, healthy elements, real food packs in the mail the other day. It's a Kickstarter I found. Uh, you could get five of them or one of them or 10 of them. There's only five different flavors. So I got one of each basically. They weren't cheap, so I'll give you that. They're about $67 for five, so that equals out to a little over, about $13.50 each. So anyways, this is where the trust has to come in. On these, all you do is you add 12 ounces of water into the bag, you shake it really, really well, and then you let it sit for 12 minutes. So, like I said, this is where you're gonna have to trust that I did not try this. I literally already added the water. It's been in here for, I would say about 15 minutes. I was walking around talking to my workers, cause I'm at work right now, and just shaking this thing as I talk. But I should, I have three more, cause I ate one already, didn't film. And then I realized I should do reviews on these things for you guys because it's kind of different. Dehydrated food, it's, it's healthy, it's all natural. Those are all the ingredients if you guys are curious. This is the website where you can go buy them. So yeah, all natural, gluten free, no milk, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It's healthy. We get it. So anyways, I added the water, I opened it up. It smells it smells interesting. I don't want to say it smells bad, but it smells interesting. On the last one I ate, it was uh, it was a chicken cauliflower and like sage or something it was good for what it was it was really good you'd think it wouldn't fill you up because it's 2.8 ounces of food before you add 12 ounces of water after you add the water it's obviously 14.8 ounces of food which you don't think is gonna fill you up but it did it filled me up that's all I needed to eat a couple days ago when I had it and I just needed to, I added some Cholula, some hot sauce. I had two different kind of hot sauces to it. Some like buffalo hot sauce and a little bit of salt and pepper. And that's all I had to do for it. Now this one is uh, maple mustard pork, butternut squash, and dried egg whites. I'm not big on breakfast foods. I'll eat them every now and again, but they're not my favorite. So the only thing that I'm kind of hesitant about with this one is the dried egg whites because like I said, the whole breakfast thing. Now, looking at this, this does not look good. <clears throat> and the butternut squash pieces, in my opinion, I'm assuming that's what that is. They're too big. They should have cut them up smaller, but, all right, let's just try to get a little bit of everything. There's some, and let's try this and see what we think. The pork is really bland. It says it's maple mustard pork. It tastes like, the mustard because it doesn't let me read this it says the pork was seasoned ahead of time and cooked with seasoning on it it doesn't taste like it to me the pork tastes really really bland I'm not really tasting any maple this says there's maple sugar in there I, I could care less because I'm not big on like I said breakfast foods I associate sweet foods with breakfast if I'm eating something sweet I want it to be dessert or ice cream or a candy bar I'm not really big on like a sweet breakfast with syrup and I can eat like some and then I get sick of it. I'm done very quickly because when I eat a meal I want it to be like salty or savory or sour, you know what I mean, or hot, not sweet. So it's not too bad. The butternut squash, it was kind of crunch. I wouldn't say crunchy, but it wasn't super soft like you would expect butternut squash to be for those of you that have had it. And it was okay. I don't know. And I'm gonna compare this one to the only other one I've had. And then I will do reviews on the last three as I do them so you guys can call, kind of follow along with how I'm reviewing these things and the other ones. Cause I would be curious to see this one. This is, I don't know, it's super intriguing to me. One second, I may have to get that phone. All right, one second. Okay, sorry, um, important phone calls. So anyways, into the review really quick, or further into the review. The pork was okay, it needs more seasoning. Squash, a little bit crunchy. The eggs, I don't know where the eggs are at. I guess that's maybe what this, 
granule-y like looking stuff is that looks like it it looks weird no that's like pieces of pork I guess maybe the eggs just kind of got mixed up with everything I don't know yeah anyways I would probably give this a two out of five uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm trying to be nice because it's a new product, it's a new company, I wanna, I don't know, but it's just, it's okay. I'm gonna add hot sauce, I'm gonna add salt and pepper to this to make it more uh, edible, because I'm not gonna throw this away, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. This is my lunch for today. So, yeah, thanks for uh, coming, watching, viewing, and subscribing, and all that, Elements Real Food. I have a few more of these. Like I said, I will get to you on those as soon as I eat them. But thank you for watching this one. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good evening. Have a good day. Whatever it is for you. Bye, guys.